All right, so I figured I'd uh, put up another video, um, a little bit more detail. Uh, I just posted a video of my, I guess my 2022 update, um, but I just kind of ran through everything without talking. But I figured I'd do a little bit more detail on this video, um, just in case anyone's curious. But my top, top drawer, I have all my, or the majority of my sockets, uh, my ratchets, my uh, big uh, 50 inch pry bar. Um, yeah, so over here I have all my, my standard stuff and some of my like specialty sockets. Uh, and it's deep and shallow Cornwell half inch drive. And that goes from three eighths to an inch and a half without any skips, which is real nice. Um, then I've got my Matco uh, 12 point chrome sockets. Uh, and these, I forget. Uh, so they go from three eighths to uh, one inch or seven eighths, I forget. Uh, oh, inch and an eighth. Um, then I've got a couple uh, universal sockets. Uh, and these are Cornwell, Matco, uh, Sunex. Um, then I've got a spare half inch drive, uh, 12 point uh, snap on. I picked this up for uh, starters. Uh, didn't really work out, it's a little too bulky, but it's a 5 8 12 point uh, half inch drive, and this is a uh, Mac. Um, and that was for the Cummins. Uh, they have a starter bolt that's a little buried. Um, then I've got my Cornwell 8 point sockets, uh, some Matco uh, 12 point impact sockets, all my half inch drive uh, swivel sockets are uh, Matco, and these go from 7 16 to an inch and an eighth, yeah, and then these three are Cornwell, um, and they go up to an inch and 5 16 um, then I've got my 3 8 uh, 6 point, and these are all Cornwell, 5 16 to 3 quarter deep and shallow, then I've got a uh, all my universal sockets um, got this one out for warranty um, these are all matco uh, deep and shallow uh, and these go from 3 8 to uh, 3 quarter and on the deep they go from uh, 3 8 to what was it 5 8 and then uh, the 11 16 and uh, 3 quarter are uh, Cornwell and then I've got some uh, spark plug sockets that are Cornwall as well. And those are the swivels. And then uh, my quarter inch is uh, Cornwall. And that's, uh, let's see, quarter inch to nine sixteenths. And that's deep, shallow. Got some uh, universal snap-on sockets. Uh, these are quarter inch drive, five sixteenths to nine sixteenths. Um, quarter inch Matco Universal and I don't really use this much anymore but 11 30 seconds semi deep Matco um, I was using these on uh, GPS uh, installs <clears throat> then I've got my weatherhead uh, sockets these are real nice for airline fittings the, the brass style um, you can kind of get in there with a, a ratchet um, rather than a wrench my uh, blue point tap sockets Exact same thing as uh, Lyle, so if you want to save some money. Then I've got some uh, standard uh, uh, 3 8 12 point sockets. Um, these are all snap on. Or, excuse me, I guess I have one Cornwall 5 8 And again, this 5 8 was for the coming starter. And in all reality, the only thing that really worked was a uh, just standard chrome um, half inch socket with a, a wobble extension um, just some random warranty sockets that I picked up uh, three quarter 12 point uh, 3 8 drive and I've got my snap on uh, extension sockets these go from 10 or excuse me, 8 to uh, 13 mil and 3 eighths, and then I have a 15 mil um, half inch drive. I actually don't make this one anymore. 
so I try not to beat on it too much because I won't be able to warranty it. Um, I used this to uh, turn the Cummins ISX motors over. I just drove the, the lock pin out, but it's a uh, half inch to three quarter adapter. Um, just a random half inch swivel extension. Uh, some more adapters. And I've got my reducer um, adapters, some more Cornwell low profile reducer adapters. These used to be a uh, gear inch, but I warranted them all out and then sold them and then picked up some Matco ones. Um, these ones are a lot better, made in USA. The gear wrench ones are made in China, so they don't really hold up that well. Got a couple random lower profile uh, Sonic sockets, 30 mil and a uh, 29. Um, let's see what else I got over here. Uh, some extensions, half inch, three eighths, and a real long quarter inch. Uh, all my extra deep uh, snap-on sockets. Um, and these go from, let's see, a uh, half inch to an inch and an eighth. Mainly I only use the three quarter. Uh, I have two of them um, for the uh, cage bolts on uh, brake chambers. My 3 8 torque wrench, uh, Cornwall, this is their newer style, um, uh, fine tooth. Then I've got my uh, half inch uh, flex head. if I recall. My 24 inch Matco half inch and then a half inch breaker bar Matco. Uh, this is actually kind of handy. It's a half inch uh, flex head uh, snap on. Uh, it's a Matco slash Craftsman uh, 3 8 flex head. Uh, got my 18 inch uh, breaker bar and uh, flex head ratchet uh, snap on just a standard 11 inch uh, snap on and then uh, I believe this is a 8 inch and then my flex head quarter inch snap on and my 12 inch flex head and I forget the length on this one does it say yeah I don't remember the length, but yeah, it's my extra long uh, quarter inch flex head. I believe it's 12 inches, but it might be a little shorter. Uh, my extension three quarter ratchet. This is a uh, easy red, but rebranded Matco. Um, and then over here, I've got all my metric stuff. Quarter inch, uh, eight to 10 mil is, um, or excuse me, eight to uh, five to 15 mil. Um, deep and shallow and then uh, 5 to 15 in flex or wobbles um, these are Cornwell quarter inch extra deep uh, 4 to 15 uh, Cornwell quarter inch and I've got all my Matco uh, wobble sockets and again I got a couple out for warranty so that's what the missing spots are but these are just my spares um, so I actually have a couple of my spares for warranty. Um, and these are all uh, Matco uh, USA, um, except for these two. These are Snap-on 8 and uh, 9 mil, and then 10 to uh, 24 uh, is all Matco. And uh, on the deep, they go from uh, 10 to uh, 19, and then I have an 8 mil uh, Snap-on. 
and then my uh, 12 point sockets go from 10 to 15 uh, Matco and just a uh, 16 mil uh, snap on 3 8 um, got a uh, fuel pressure uh, sensor socket um, some 7 8 uh, O2 sensor sockets some spare uh, half inch drive Cornwall uh, wobble sockets. I don't use this much anymore, but it's the uh, filter socket for uh, some Fords and some GMs, uh, 32 mil. Uh, 46 mil, this was total spontaneous, didn't really need it. But I used this for the, um, the DEF filter, the, the housing. Uh, 46 mil and it's a half inch drive. Um, that way I'm not mushrooming the, or I guess squeezing on the, the plastic housing with the pliers. Then eight to 19 deep end shallow is a Cornwell. And then I have a, uh, let's see, was it 20? Uh, 21 to 24 is a, a Matco. These are my three eights. And then half inch 10 to 19 uh, Matco wobble sockets. And then I have my Matco uh, 10 to 19 uh, 12 point half inch drive impact sockets. And then lastly is my half inch drive uh, Cornwell metric set, deep shallow. Um, these go from, I believe, 10. Let's see. Yeah, 10 mil to 36 mil. A um, couple skips here and there, and that's a uh, deep end shallow. And then a uh, O2 sensor adapter. I believe I covered everything in here. Got all my wrenches. Um, the majority is SAE. Uh, I've got four ways, Cornwell, um, stubby uh, half inch, or what am I saying? Stubby uh, snap-on. These go from quarter to inch and a quarter. Um, st standard length are uh, three eighths to inch and a half uh, snap-on. And my flare nut sockets are all snap-on. Uh, my double box offset snap on and uh, uh, Matco flare nut sockets or flare, flare nut wrenches. Um, and then these are just uh, standard flare nut. And these are uh, industrial uh, snap on. Some spare ones. Uh, I got just a random uh, three-quarter extra stubby. I forget what they call these. I think these are their midgets. But um, I use this to kind of throw into the the frame of the trailers to do dock bumpers. I just kind of throw it in there. It's real short. Um, some spare uh, four ways. Uh, these are snap-on, but the majority of my set is Cornwall. My metric uh, flare nuts. Uh, snap on then I got all my SAE ratcheting wrenches uh, and these go from 3 8 to 3 quarter snap on and then 15 16 to inch and a quarter is a uh, proto and then my Cornwell double box uh, ratcheting wrenches this is the same as a uh, Matco <clears throat> Icon Platinum uh, mountain. It was just at the time I had a real good Cornwell dealer. Um, so I picked up the Cornwell ones and unfortunately I don't have a Cornwell dealer anymore. Um, and I've got my metric uh, combination 10 to 19 and then 8 to uh, 19 is my ratcheting combination wrenches. Again all snap on. And then uh, my Cornwell flare nut wrenches 
airline disconnect pliers, or excuse me, air not, airline disconnect wrenches. Uh, these are Lyle. Um, oh, and these, uh, these are brake line wrenches um, for the, the bleeder, the bleeder screw. All my picks and scrapers. Uh, I got Mayhew, Cornwell, Lyle, uh, Snap-on. My Blue Point uh, 84-piece hex nut and torque set. Uh, my Cornwell uh, impact driver socket or uh, impact driver bit set. Um, again, picked this up because I had a Cornwell dealer and I was tired of breaking my uh, my Milwaukee ones. But again, now I don't have a Cornwell dealer, so I'm in the same boat. I got my uh, metric and standard uh, bit set for six point. Random spares, my hex keys, these are metric and standard, they're the Vera brand. Little adapter to make a 90 degree on my impact driver. Um, 48 piece re threader set. If you want to save some money, you get the Lang set, it's the exact same one. Um, you just get orange grips instead of these red ones. My gasket uh, uh, hole punch set. This is a mat cone, but I believe they're made by Lyle. Metric and standard uh, stud extractors. Um, these are my left handed, uh, left handed. Uh, drill bits and uh, extractors and then the snap-on ones with the flute style some random uh, impact driver uh, drill bits extractor bolt extractors Carbide drill bits or carbide uh, burr bits, um, step drill bit, uh, some more stud extractors. These are a snap on drill bits and uh, more extractors. Yep. Seven ton uh, OTC bearing puller set, my uh, Tiger Tool uh, anchor pin uh, press, that's for the uh, drum brakes. Got my impact uh, or my air hammer uh, attachment. This one's a little quicker. These are ones I, this is I use for the stubborn ones. Um, yoke remover for. Uh, Eaton Fuller's uh, U-joints, um, some random files, my saw kit, oh, and a uh, ball joint press, all my air tools, uh, as you can see I really like the IR stuff, um, don't be fooled, Matco does not make uh, or the Matco current line is not IR anymore. They're just IR clones. Um, yeah, I've got the 
stubby half inch, standard half inch, 2235, 3 8 uh, 2115, um, grinder, bunch of uh, die grinders, uh, all Cornwell. Um, half inch drive uh, or half inch uh, chuck uh, air drill the new Matco air hammer this thing hits pretty hard um, I believe it's made by uh, Sunex but this particular one is real nice because it's got the rotating uh, grip my three-quarter IR my hammerhead IR and uh, my Cornwell right angle half inch don't really use this much anymore but it's a uh, uh, metal shears um, that's it and over here I have all my three-quarter stuff half inch stuff um, these are all my axle sockets um, my adapters universal is a snap-on um, this I made up watching a YouTube video, but it's a eight inch. Um, and I just drilled this out to break the clutch brakes. Um, real handy to have, so you don't have to torch it. And then 15 sixteenths to uh, inch and size. Say it's inch and a it might be two inches, yeah. Uh, so 15 16 two inch is snap on, and then I have a two and five eighths for the pinion nut on the Eaton Fuller's. My Matco uh, um, serpentine belt set, uh, Matco antenna socket set. Um, 3 8 drive extension wrench. Uh, it's hit and miss. 50-50 it works. Um, rivet pliers. Um, my torch head. Uh, this is kind of a spontaneous buy. I haven't really used them yet. But they're the disconnect tool set. 90 and straights. Some uh, belt tensioner gauges. Uh, you just press these on the the belt see how much tension you got battery cleaner uh, wrench for removing the nut or the plug on 55 gallon drums this is real nice this is more of like an industrial tool but it comes in handy you know if you want to punch out holes for um, battery disconnects and and the like, uh, but it's a hole punch set. Or I should say a knockout punch set. Um, cooler line disconnect set. made these up to hold up the, the window when I'm doing a regulator or a motor. Just hold the window up without it falling on you. Um, steering wheel puller set. This is my quarter inch drive by Grab and Go Master Cornwell set. It's a metric end standard. Mainly if I'm doing dash work, I just grab it rather than have a handful of sockets. All my screwdrivers, uh, these are precision screwdrivers, precision Torx, um, Phillips standard, uh, or excuse me, Phillips and flathead. Um, then my ratcheting proto set. Uh, some feeler gauges. Also purchased these when I was doing 
more overheads. Haven't really done an overhead in a while, so they're still factory sealed. Scraper set. Um, more scrapers. These are uh, panel uh, pliers, or whatever you want to call them. Seal puller and um, clutch adjustment tool. All my welding stuff, uh, extra extra lenses, batteries, um, my uh, knee pads, two sets of gloves, and then my welding helmet. It's a Miller. I haven't used it, but it's my dial indicator. All right. And then this is just a spare Miller uh, bag I had, but this is just a, a shield, face shield. Hearing protection, Bluetooth, real nice. All my uh, power tools. Uh, I jumped on the Milwaukee bandwagon, as you can see, but I've got my my right angles, my extension, uh, three quarter or excuse me, three eighths and quarter inch, the high speed ratchets, uh, drill, half inch drive, uh, high torque. I've got the half inch mid torque, three eighths mid torque, and uh, impact driver. Uh, grinder all my punches and hammers uh, gear wrench um, but they're the trusty hooks uh, Wilton hammers these were nice for uh, caliper bolts on trailers more so but they're inch and a quarter and an inch and three sixteenths that way you can kind of just beat on them rather than try and get a wrench in there. Um, my impact uh, screwdriver. It's a uh, Lyle, but branded Carlisle. Um, all my air hammer bits. My uh, punch set. It's all Mayhew. Save yourself some money. Don't get the tool truck brand, so the exact same ones. Um, and then... As I say that, my uh, Snap-on dealer was running a promo on these roll pin punches. Uh, drip punches. These are uh, Cornwall. Got my my punch holder Snap-on. Some brass punches. All my Sawzall uh, blades. And. Uh, Milwaukee Sawzall, got my tap and die set, um, turbo uh, pressure tester, all my uh, Tiger Tool uh, presses, uh, these are U-joints, um, uh, um, what am I trying to say, gearbox uh, pullers, my air ribbit gun, um, some ratchet straps for transmissions. Holding them onto the the jack or whatever else you might need them for. Um, my creeper, some tire bars, um, all my pry bars, Cornwall Matco. Let's see, I've got more than enough. Uh, I got my heel bars back here. My blowgun. Uh, blue over here, got my seal puller, uh, a couple of my lights, uh, mainly use the snap on one, comes in real handy, but I also got the modular lights from Power Probe. Um, got my ASC sticker, um, currently yeah, master certified, uh, so I like to kind of wear the I guess a badge of honor. 
Um, it was a lot of work, a lot of studying. Got all my pliers, um, tin snips. Uh, these are all Nipex, uh, or the majority are Nipex, uh, Cobras. I got the uh, wrench pliers. Um, uh, pinch off pliers are our gear wrench. These are for coolant. I have them in all various sizes and angles. These are actually blue point ones, but they're all made by Lang. Um, so whatever you get a deal on, you know, they're all the same. Um, all my uh, diagonal cutters are snap-on. Uh, Nipex. Uh, Nipex um, cable cutters. These are real nice. Uh, mini bolt cutters. Um, battery cable cutters. Again, all Nipex. Snap-on slip joints. Snap-on uh, uh, pipe wrench or whatever you want to call it. Um, some of the engineer slash vampire bolt extractor pliers. Um, some scissors, uh, snap or Matco. Uh, hose cutters. Uh, hose, uh, uh, hose spring pliers, uh, Cornwell, and then snap on uh or excuse me uh nipex needle nose and then i have the x frame uh matco pliers these are real handy for airline quick disconnects but they're uh, disconnect pliers um some more snap on hose slip joint pliers these are terrible don't waste your money uh, they don't grab because the way that they machined them, it, it doesn't really bite like it should unless you kind of have them in an awkward. But yeah, save your money. Snap on needle nose, uh, hose uh, spreaders, uh, hog ring pliers, uh, Matco, um, some flush cuts or nipex, uh, got some snap on flush cuts. Uh, snap on uh, duck bill and uh, angled needle nose lock ring pliers. Uh, these are nice for depth lines. Uh, you can kind of press them and press in the little locking tabs and slide it off. But these are Lyle. Uh, I think that's about it. And then these are just some random pistol grip Mac Mac pliers and uh, some more 90 degree needle nose. Our uh, Nipex. It's kind of my electrical drawer. I've got all my uh, my pin uh, pin out disconnect uh, drivers. Or my uh, circuit tester. This is the digital one. Uh, I need to get a 24 volt one because I've been doing a lot of uh, forklift work. My multimeter, infrared thermometer, um, Schrader valves for AC, my trailer light tester, uh, some leads, my uh, starter button, um, some random uh, connectors I made up for testing the speed sensor voltage. Uh, got my power probe my snap-on mini torch and uh, my insulator cutter I forget the name of it but yeah it just cuts a little it's got a tiny little blade cuts into the insulation you can pull it back relay tester relay buddy um, soldering set all my uh, electrical pliers I've got Deutsch connector uh, crimpers 
got standard crimpers, um, some more of the engineer band pliers, some uh, electrical scissors, um, uh, connector, disconnect wrenches, uh, cannon connector uh, pliers, snap on crimper cutters, and then my two uh, foreign ones. Uh, these ones are for uh, 20 to 12 gauge, and these are the PWCS7 ACFs. And then these ones are for, I don't know if you can see that, but 24 to 14 gauge. And these ones are the PWCSS7 ACFs. Um, large uh, Klein battery cable cutters. Uh, and this is nice for pulling back the uh, wire loom. Kind of get in there, hook it, and pull it. Random little hodgepodge drawer, but I have my 3 8 drive toll point. It's more like my grab and go on road calls. I just grab this and my 3 8 impact. Um, all 12 point. My PWZ pliers, various sizes. Um, some extra pry bars. This is actually just a big screwdriver. My hose clamp pliers, uh, the tight reach ones. I got my my shank. This is nice for just beating and stuff. You know. uh, my flip sockets. These are just standard thin walls. Um, these are extractors for various style lug nuts and then these are the half size flip sockets it's kind of my my PM drawer slash brake drawer. Um, got my filter pliers. Uh, behind it, I've got some brake spring pliers. Uh, don't waste your money. They're terrible. Um, got all my hose, uh, or excuse me, my filter cap sockets. Got my brake tools for gauges. Um, more filter cap sockets. These are for the um, sprinter vans, strap wrenches. Got a bunch of those. Uh, let's see what else. Lug nut. Um, the stupid little chrome caps the drivers like to put on. Those are to pull them. Um, Dabco filter sockets. Uh, brake spring pry bar. Uh, this is actually the the regular one if you will the standard one BT518 um, and yeah it's just to hook the the return spring but these ones are actually or this one I actually made it's uh, the brake tech tool version so it's got like more of a, a hook um, and then I just threw a snap on handle on it slack adjuster uh, tools, uh, caliper, uh, spreader, um, some big filter sockets, another three leg filter socket, strap wrench, I still need a warranty, and this is real handy, it's an air powered uh, uh, wind back tool, but it's for like the Fords. Um, the, cal the rear calipers that um, you have to, to twist them to push the piston in. Um, this applies constant pressure with uh, shop air, and then all you have to worry about is twisting the uh, piston back in, but real handy. So 
less of a, a wrist breaker. And that's a master cool, but I've seen them on Amazon and various brands. Uh, another hodgepodge drawer, but I've got my, uh, my pneumatic fan clutch wrench set. Um, my launch uh, scan tool. This is for the heavy duty. So it's got um, OBD and uh, nine pin. Doesn't really work on the newer nine pin connectors, which kind of sucks, but I still have it. Random. Uh, uh, adapters I made up to air up uh, trucks that won't run uh, just air up the system so I can tell them uh, some circulate pliers for transmissions um, I have my input shaft puller uh, some random air fittings steering wheel holder some more uh, adapters for down trucks um, my uh, pedal depressor, doing clutches. My master uh, snap ring plier set, was a snap-on. And uh, some spare couplers for when I'm using my turbo pressure tester. Got my slide hammer kit. Uh, underneath it, I've got a drum, uh, drum brake uh, caliper. Uh, my brake uh, brake line bleeder works handy on, uh, or it comes in pretty handy, I should say, on uh, slave uh, slave cylinders for the Eaton pullers. Um, I also made up an adapter. Um, let's see if I can find it the best right here. Uh, it's a CompuCheck adapter, so that way I can also bleed uh, fuel systems after um, services if they just won't uh, they won't start. You know, they get too much air in the system. And I have all my uh, my coolant pressure testers. This is just a hand pump. Um, and then my three in one. This one does uh, pressure test, uh, retention, and uh, refills the system. And then all my adapters. Uh, eight inch or eight pound uh, sledgehammer, so you place it to really fit. That's where it is. And this is just my roll around cart, it's empty. But uh, I got my air chuck. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I just figured I'd give a little bit more detail. Uh, sorry for the long winded video. Um, but yeah, if you just want to see what I have, um, you can watch the short version. Um, and again, I, I don't talk in it, so it's just a real quick run through of what I've got. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.